up yes honey and welcome back to a new video I'm actually borrowing my dad's camera for this video because I'm just testing out how it looks how the autofocus is and everything like that and the mic quality so let me know in the comments down below how this video looks hopefully everything's in frame and sounds okay but today I have a super incredibly exciting package because it is a super rare pet that I have been trying to get my hands on for a while so if you're into collecting rare LPS you may have heard of the Brazilian exclusive variants that exist of certain glitter pets. There's a little comparison between the glitter variations and the Brazilian exclusive non-glittery variations. There isn't much difference besides them missing the glitter and of course the bunny mold being a completely different pet. Now nobody really knows why these pets are missing the glitter and why they were only available in Brazil but they have become quite a sought after variant because they look pretty cool and it's interesting to see a variant so exclusive. And of course, the bunny, especially being a completely different mold, has really piqued the interest of a lot of rare collectors, myself included, not gonna lie. And today, we are going to be opening a package containing one of these Brazilian exclusive pets, which I was so incredibly lucky to find on eBay. So I recorded a little video of me opening it up when I first got it because I got it while I was recording another video and I was just so excited. So I'll play that clip for you guys now. Here's the package. I'm currently recording like a billion different videos and I'm like painting and everything so my room is a mess but I'm so excited I'm opening this package up now. Shout out Deutschland if I have any German viewers you all already know Lilith's Pet Shop German eBay goes off. Get him out please God get him out. Oh my god! As you can tell I, I was pretty happy to get this pet. Also, I was incredibly lucky to get it for a pretty decent price. If you look up some Brazilian exclusive pets on eBay, the prices are pretty insane for what they are. But then again, the LPS resale market is pretty messy at the moment with prices going crazy. So, hey, if you're selling them, get your bag, sis. Uh, that's not my business. But like you saw in that clip, I got the Brazilian exclusive bat. So let's take a look at her in all her glory and also compare it to the regular glitter version because I do own that as well. Ah, here she is. So admittedly, I love bat LPS. I think they are a super underrated mold. So to receive the Brazilian exclusive one as my first Brazilian LPS is amazing. This one's actually my favorite out of all of the designs, closely followed by the bunny and also the caterpillar. But let's just be honest, the bat is so pretty. Obviously, not everyone likes the face because it is more of like a realistic bat face. So it has the little like piggy nose and everything. But I think in general, Hasbro really nailed this mold. And they do have a secondary bat mold, which is super cute. But this one, I just love it. He has such dark vibes and the colors on this one specifically are so gorgeous. So let's bring in the more traditional glitter version, which is what most of you will probably know and might even own yourself. So this version here was released worldwide and it's what a lot of us collectors have. I know I got it. Um, I didn't get mine in store, but he is pretty like common to find online. I actually have a double of him, so he, he's definitely getting around quite a bit. I'm gonna be completely honest, I love this one's dark blue sparkles and it's something I wish the Brazilian exclusive had. I wish there was kind of a mixture between these two. One that had less glitter than this version, but more than none. I think that would be the perfect mixture. Don't get me wrong, I'm super grateful to own both and consider myself incredibly lucky to have found the Brazilian one for such a decent price. So let's talk about the comparison between the two. Obviously the main one is this one has glitter and this one does not. And because of that, it's missing the star pattern. Oh my God. Okay, take two everybody. It's missing the star pattern, which is on this one's forehead. But there's also some slight differences which I didn't notice until I received the pet. Looking at them like this, you honestly would just think that the main difference is the glitter and you are right, but there are some small differences like the eyelashes. So you can see the glitter bat has two small eyelashes where the Brazilian bat only has one. Also a really interesting detail is their feet are painted different. 
the regular bat has fully painted feet, where the Brazilian bat, only the front little claw parts are painted. The back of the LPS actually have some differences as well. The regular version of the bat's LPS logo is relocated at the bottom, whereas the Brazilian bat is on the top on the head. They both have the same 2007 licensing underneath, though it's not like these bats were produced at a different time frame. So those are the only differences that I know of. If anyone knows of any more differences, please let me know, but I really can't see any others. There's been a lot of online speculation as to why Hasbro even made these Brazilian pets, and there's no real concrete answer as of yet. Some people guess that it might have been because of budget cuts for the Brazilian Brazilian release and therefore they saved money by not adding the glitter. Now that we've had a comparison, let's actually give this little guy some time to shine because he is gorgeous. I'm personally a big fan of his color palette and that's why I love the glitter version so much. But this Brazilian version is just so special to own, not only because it is harder to get which is satisfying the rare collector in me, but also just because it's a really pretty pet. I think this one actually encapsulates the LPS batch better than the glittery one just because it's kind of less flashy and more quote unquote realistic. You know, there's something about it that's really appealing to me. It just looks really clean and the design's just really nice. So please let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Are you a fan of these less detailed Brazilian pets or do you prefer the traditional glittery pets? Because don't get me wrong, those glitter pets are gorgeous. I'm really hoping in the future that I can get the bunny and caterpillar the most, but honestly to get any of the pets from the Brazilian line is an achievement I feel like, so getting this bat is definitely a big pet off my wish list. Oh, one thing I forgot to show you guys is the seller that I bought this from actually gave me a few extras as well. Included some really cute stickers, one of them being a little bat. Also these little baggies of erasers. So these are all erasers. And then these two little ones are charms. Wait, this could definitely be a look. Hold up. I love this pet even more now. Oh my god. And it matches my background as well. Oh my god, that, that's perfect. It's perfect. That's... Ah! Sorry, I'm just very excited about this pet. Okay, she's beautiful. Also with the erasers was this little sticker. I don't know if this is their social media or not because it doesn't match their eBay name. But if it is, there, there they are. I'll try and look for them like on Instagram and maybe link them down below if I can find them. But there she is with all the little erasers and charms. I'm so happy I own this pet, guys. Y'all don't understand. Like, I was going feral when I unboxed her. But there she is. I'm so happy to add her to my collection and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing her and seeing a comparison between her regular glittery counterpart. The seller I bought this from unfortunately does not have any more LPS listed at the current moment but like I said I'll try and search for them on Instagram with the name that was provided on those stickers and hopefully I can link somebody in the description down below because they were very sweet and originally they didn't even offer shipping to Australia but after I contacted of them they allowed it and that was just really awesome of them but yeah let me know what you think of my new pet and let me know what you think of this camera I have no idea um, if it's even going to look good hopefully it does um, and like I said this is my dad's camera so I'm just borrowing it for now just to see what it's like and maybe if it's good I can buy my own um, because as you know I have been having some troubles with my current camera so yeah, I'm just looking at options, trying to upgrade because I really want to do give the best images for you guys. Was that even English? I really want to do give the best image. What am I saying? I'm tired. Okay, I'm sorry. It's been a long day, <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and of course subscribe. And I will see you tomorrow with another video. Bye guys.